just all of a sudden wake up in the middle of nowhere and they're like running from all this crazy shit that's happening to them and and then like come to find out at the end that they're criminals and <laughs> their punishment is to be drugged and then put into a scenario where they have to escape and they don't know what's going on and then there's like an audience that's watching them while they're trying to escape for entertainment. Oh my and God. So these oh my God. These criminals are just like constantly getting drugged and then pumped full of adrenaline and then released into this like crazy scenario where they have to either escape or die. Whoa. And people are just watching it for fun. Oh, and at, at, at the end, the criminal like comes out through the movie screen and like sees that there's an audience watching her. Oh and then, God. and then the, the like, black helmets or whatever you want to call them come in and drug her again <laughs> it all starts over again oh and you're like what Dude, i want to see you do stand up so bad i feel like you would crush that's the, that's the first see i saw revenge of the nerds when i was seven years old it was the first time i saw a pair of bare breasts oh mm. and you saw like and a hairy vagina oh is that what happened in revenge of the nerds i'm wearing fishnets underneath yeah. i'm a little shy right now <laughs> that's fair you can keep What's them up, up. Like, also and they say like faggot all the time in that Dude, they, six they, o'clock they, right it's it start at eight o'clock yeah this is like this is the latest i stay out on a school oh, like, yeah. All yeah, you didn't even think about i didn't even think of that, like, that, that <laughs> everyone's yeah. talking at the same time a bunch of people in alabama were like hi stella well who's gonna have some yeah like you said i'm okay how are you doing there's have plenty of people who agree to with him. You know? Tea? Like yeah. I was in Texas. Yeah, let's do tea. Like a green tea or a oolong or, you know. Sure. I'm not a fan of oolong. Those motherfuckers were vetoing NFL. Do, you know. because yeah, I mean, oh, wait, are you, are you, are you telling me to that make that you some tea right now? Is <laughs> yeah, that what that is? No, no, I was just saying. I, you know, like, I, if they're you my made family. I'm like, you're not dumb. No, it sounds like you want me to make you the tea. Maybe they're not dumb, but it's dumb to think that stuff. No, I'm not saying that. I'm dancing around. just have a different... Okay. Like I well, I I don't feel like making tea, uh, so I guess we're not having tea. I though. guess you're just gonna have to beg or <laughs> not have tea. Wait, is that you were like you can have tea if you beg? For yeah, it? you can have tea if you beg for it. Drink off okay. a woman's toes. <laughs> what? Well, it's liquid that fits on a woman's toes. Like zero. Dude, yeah. Like probably like a droplet. Not even. I don't even think that'll fit. Like happen? if you try, you could probably get two droplets. <laughs> Come in. Come on. Who is it? No one fucking comes in when I say come on in. Yeah. Oh, because you keep locking the door. I. Why well, you keep doing you that? You literally keep locking the door. I didn't for you though. Hello. Russell. Oh, you it's going. It, it wasn't locked. It wasn't. Hail, me, hail the gang's all yeah. here. Just How's that tea you got to take some elbow grease. Like you gotta really open the door. I I have a soft spot in it because I used to work in the job. At first, like the first three or four episodes, it just seems mad corny. And it's for like the first two to three episodes, it just seems mad corny. It's like these horrible shows just about these like random like little girls that are trying to be magicians. And, How like, old are so they? Stupid. They're like pre like, 13, 14. Okay. Years, like, yeah, like freshmen. Yeah, they're like freshmen yeah. in high school. And then out of nowhere, like one of the episodes, this girl just had no. <laughs> she gets her head bit off? Yeah. By what? Like, by this other, like, a witch. So they're supposed to be magic girls, <laughs> and there's witches, and witches are supposed to be bad. <laughs> she gets her head bit off. And, like, this whole time, there's this, like, little animal thing, like, tipping it. He's like, come on, sign the contract, become a magic girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, or else we'll bite your head off. What the fuck? It gets crazy. It's just like this little like troll thing that's supposed to like look cute and everything throughout the whole show. Like, come on, inside the contract. You be a magic girl. You get one wish. And then you find out that the magic girl's one wish, like that makes it to a magic girl, means it gets their soul taken away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Satan. Essentially, yeah. <laughs> and it's well, they're supposed to be like the little troll that was actually like an alien. And then, then it takes this like really dark turn to the show from that point, where it's like this alien comes down to Earth and has been doing it for centuries, where he grants these girls these wishes oh my that God. initially that uh, like seems good and it initially turns on them <laughs> and makes them into witches. And you find out that's the because magic girls are supposed to fight witches. Yeah, but, but you but find out at the end by the time the show ends that magic girls become witches. 
and like the oh, whole shit. show is, ta- is like adamant in making uh, one of the girl the magic girl and all of her friends like some mysterious girl oh it's like child magic. slavery what it's like child slavery <laughs> yeah, exactly. oh my well, god that's the other, that's the other yeah. part of it too like you find out that the main reason these aliens want these girls to become magic girls is because when they become witches, apparently they exude so much energy that they get. That's how they source the power throughout the universe. Whoa! <laughs> so, like, we gotta watch like, this. It's crazy. And then, like, at one part, it's like, yeah, throughout history, we've been doing it. So they should like flash you to like Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, and like all this other shit. That's hilarious. Like, what the fuck oh my is god. This shit? It's such an unnecessary dark turn, and you're just like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. You don't. You want to do a before and after picture, Jen? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cleo. Hey, sweetie. Someone trying to break into our house? Hi, what's up, guys? Hang on. So today I'm going to be editing um, more videos from the archive. <laughs> I need to get my external hard drive stuff from my old laptop, which is right here. On my bed. That, that's the old, uh, that's the old external hard drive. It was causing me problems, um, last week, and I was able to fix that with a scan, with the WD scan. Um, it took a few hours, but lo and behold, everything got salvaged, um, so far at least. Um, I'm also in the middle of doing a... 30 day cleanse thing um definitely this is not wine it's you can tell it's like not it's like an off-brand color (laughs) um but it's pomegranate juice with a splash of water there's cleo just playing around with my plant Anyway, yeah, this new year i'm trying to do um new moon intentions so i actually wrote down Um, all of the lunar phases on my calendar, which I designed with the roomies. It's a very special calendar. There's only 50 in the world. (laughs) I think that, I think I have a few left if anyone wants, if anyone wants some. I'm like looking up how to do new moon intentions and a lot of it is like, involving crystals and sage which I'm like like really so anyway I'm gonna be doing that tonight I've also got improv practice tonight and I was planning on going to LA um, next month however I am severely short on funds and I may just have to fly over there sometime later this year and I don't know how to vlog so when I said I'm doing a 30-day cleanse I mean like I'm not doing any mind-altering substances I guess I kind of cheated because I went to the cafe last week and I was editing um the twerk Tuesday twerk du soleil video there and you know you can't go to a cafe and not order a coffee so I drank a coffee and it had been so long since I drank a full cup of coffee. When I came home, I just started, I grabbed a melamine sponge and I was like cleaning everything. Not only did I have the jitters, but my vision was kind of skewed, like kind of warped in a way. Um, I had never felt that caffeine high before. Maybe I'm kind of cheating in this non-mind altering substances thing. I don't know. What do you think? Blau. Okay. Well, Cleo looks like she's having a good time. Mm-hmm.